Des monts et merveilles, dans et marées, au loin déjà la mer serre. To Songs of Freedom. We are right now at the Staten Island Museum where Helen has an installation which uh, is not only hers but is also of her son. Talk about the installation itself. Well, I have um, uh, a group of paintings that were inspired, uh, done in the last, within the last 10 years, that were inspired by uh, something as simple as a small photograph to just start a painting. And then um, I, I like spontaneity in my work, but it's very disappointing. I, I really like the colors that you use. You use a lot of vibrant colors. Talk about the colors that you use and why you choose them. I'm interested in vibrant colors. Uh, one of the cornerstones of my work, beside the gesture, is a sense of composition. Um, and if someone asked me if work is good or not, I would say that, that the composition is a satisfactory resolution of pictorial forces. That's color, that's light and dark, that's line, that's space. And if it results in a, I would say, intriguing way, then it helps. And I'm happy to say that it quite uh, serendipitously, the work tends to be upbeat. In my son's case, as a new media artist, he takes the material, which is essentially my work is part of the material world, paintings on a wall, and he makes them into abstraction, but not even material. They're experiences that are not material in the same sense. It's, it's an interactive yeah. display where people actually become part of the work. My son, in his case, is developing and taking it to another level, which uh, I would love to be able to do myself, and I admire, and I'm happy that uh, it is coming into the 20th century. I say this because so many artists and so many people in the public have said, what's What's this new media and what does it have to do with art, which I love? But now we can see in this one little exhibition just one example of how art is part of a continuum, is part of a dialogue, in my case, the paintbrush and the computer. So Helen, what are we looking at right now? These are um, images are taken from people who are viewers of this museum exhibition. Uh, for example, if I go over here and uh, I make a motion like this, uh, it's captured by motion and it stays into the computer. I see. Okay, Helen, what's, what's this one about? This is an iPad? Yes, it says using your finger gently draw on the iPad screen, draw to begin and uh, you create this, and it repeats, and it, it's sort of gener uh, gener generative, and it keeps developing whatever you create. Uh, and it's unique with each person. This, this one here is called Yellowtail. Now, this, this is particularly fun because the images create a, like a mesh, and if you use, uh, and, they, and they keep moving on their own, and if you put your hand, uh, hold all the fingers there, then uh, it creates an image with all the fingers. And it keeps moving in a Everybody's very Everybody's hands are a little bit different. Well, everybody, everybody's images that they create are different. And uh, here's another uh, one here called dendrum. Now this is uh, what's typically of generative because it, it keeps evolving into a way which is unpredictable. like a tree growing. And there it is. Yeah, so that's all, the, all four of these. And get, uh, this is for Flaccus. So there's a lot of interactive games and toys to play with here at yes. the installation. Yes, yes. And um, uh, it should inspire people to go further with this kind of idea. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah, so so how, what, what uh, direction is your art form taking you now? As you I'm interested very much in architectural space. It can be interior space. I was very, um, various new contemporary architecture, how space is so compositionally organized, and it translates well with photographs in some cases, and it can be a wonderful source of inspiration for these spatial uh, convolutions and things that really make for an interesting painting. And um, so I'm inspired by that. Helen, thank you for coming.
coming to Songs for Freedom. And uh, stay tuned for more interesting work in the world of art and whatever form of shape. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.